So you're ready to screen share on your Instagram Lives, but you're not sure how to create those slides to effectively work with Instagram live streams. I am breaking down all of my tips and tricks because I live stream on Instagram all the time and dang, have I learned the hard way and now you don't have to. So here's the deal. When it comes to live streaming on Instagram, you can't technically screen share, but we showed you exactly how you can be getting around that by showing imagery on your screen to make it look like you are screen sharing and it can be a little bit hard to design these slides. So here's what you need to know. The the top right hand corner is where your picture is going to be. You need to leave this blank in every slide that you are creating because your face is going to be there. And Instagram sometimes glitches a little bit so you want to leave extra gap room because sometimes it's a little higher and sometimes it's a little lower within what you are doing on your live stream. So leave that gap space there and that top right hand corner is 100% for you baby. Don't put any information there. On the left hand top side, you can be putting smaller titles and smaller imagery. This is if you want to title the live stream you're doing or you kind of want to have your main points there and your bullet points under it. Now underneath this, in that second third of your screen, so in that middle, you are going to be able to put the meat of your content. These are links, these are bullet points, these are imageries that you are sharing. Anything that is going to enhance what you're talking about and show off those points that you're discussing within your live stream. You want to make sure you're keeping that in that middle section because the lower third, that bottom section, is where your user comments are and you do not want to cover those up. Trust me. User comments are going to be coming in as you are live streaming and with that, it will take away from any information you have on that lower third. So don't put anything important there. Make sure you keep that nice and blank. And pro tip here, it can be hard to see those comments if it's a busy background. So as you're creating this, I do recommend you keep it either to a solid color or a limited detail background branded to go with your business. I recommend keeping within your color scheme, keeping within your design scheme, and making it look like a natural part of your Instagram feed so that should someone see it and they click through and see your live stream, they instantly know it goes with what you're putting out within your Instagram feed and on your Instagram stories. So match those colors, match that branding, and then keep your main part of your content in the middle. On the bottom, I occasionally will darken that. I will add a gradient to it or I'll add a solid colored panel so that I can easily read the comments coming in from people. You're gonna wanna test this to see if it works for you, but you always need to keep that bottom part clear because people aren't gonna be able to see past those comments to any information you've got under there. Now I do recommend that you are branding this, so put your logo on it, use your colors, use your layouts. You wanna make sure that it's nice and relevant to what you're doing on the social media platform so that it looks like it's a part of your Instagram. But keep that top right hand corner with extra padding clear. And pro tip here, your, your screen with your face on it will not be in the very top corner against the wall. It will be kind of hovering there. So you gotta leave that gap space in that top right third. Um, you wanna keep about two thirds of that third clear. So keep the right side and keep the middle clear and then only put information on the left screen. And you can, of course, go through your different slides. You can use different colors on your backgrounds or you can use the same background, whatever works with your branding. I've been known to switch it up. So I do both the same background for everything and just change my information, but I also change the colors over the design background. So I don't necessarily do like super different backgrounds. You can if you want, treat it just like Instagram stories. But I will take a single background in a muted detail kind of way and then I'll just change the color overlay. So sometimes it'll be green, sometimes it'll be pink, sometimes it'll be blue. But it all goes with my branding and it all, all goes with each other. I don't do weird abstract colors just randomly posted there. I make sure it all stays within a color scheme and it looks nice and intentional because I'm treating it like a webinar or like a live stream where I'm giving out information, I'm teaching, I'm doing tutorials, or I am giving out information for the entertaining things that I am talking about. I recommend that you are putting your website on there at some point. I do recommend that you are putting in your social media at some point so that even if it's not there the whole time, you are at some point tossing it up there and saying, hey guys, come hang out with me on social media. Come hang out with me on my website. Send them where they need to go because this is the perfect way for your fans to grab their phone and snap those buttons and take that screenshot so that they can remember what you were talking about later. It's right on their phone. They don't even have to search for it. It saves you so much time and effort. And when you're saying a website, website link, an email address, or social media links, whew, to have it right there on their phone. They don't even have to work for it, and you don't have to keep saying it over and over and over again. Just tell them to snap it. 
that is that should be one of your calls to action on this one now if you need more help with this or if you don't want to design this in Photoshop or in Canva or you don't want to deal with your colors or your branding I got you boo if you want pre-created slides that you can just customize with your own branding come on over to ijslides.livestreamactionplan.com to download your copies today to get where you need to go within your own Instagram live streams I'm so happy to help you out with this one and if you need more tips on how to rock out your live streams come on over to livestreamactionplan.com I am breaking down exactly what you need to know about running a live stream talk show I have a free full course that teaches you everything you need from your branding to getting guests to hosting to talking to feeling comfortable and fear free on camera the works are there and then I've got free action plans for you to actually test it out and then if you like it and you want to keep doing a live stream one really big important live stream in your business every single month I literally hand you an action plan it's a roadmap a guidebook to exactly what you need to do all you gotta do is fill in some blanks hit the record button and you're good to go and you are making a profitable business through your smart social media marketing simply by doing a big important live stream every month where I handhold you walk you through it and I actually work with you in group coaching to help you to get your live streams to where they need to be so you are turning a profit within your business simply from the work you're doing within your live stream sounds pretty good right livestreamactionplan.com tons of freebies over there you do not want to miss plus the free course and then you can come join me every single month if you want I would love to see you there at livestreamactionplan.com good luck with your Instagram lives let me know how it goes and if you need those slides ijslides.livestreamactionplan.com for more